Okay. We got question number five here. This is the fifth in our uh, series of integration revision videos. Again, this is another uh, integration by substitution, and they give us the substitution here, and we need to integrate this expression here. Well, let's get our expression written down. So the x limits run from 0 to 2, and the expression is 2x, oops, all over, 4 plus 3x squared, all squared, with respect to x. Now, we've got a couple of things to do. We've got this substitution here, u is equal to 4 plus 3x squared, so we need to find d, d, du, dx. We need to get rid of the dx here, we need to get rid of all the x expressions here, and we need to change our limits. Our limits are in x at the moment, and we'll get into that in a sec. So du dx is equal to nothing plus 6x. So uh, du over 6x is equal to dx. So we can then replace this with a du over 6x. But we've also got to think about changing our limits. When we change from dx to du, our limits, we've got x at the moment, and we've got to change those to u. So at the moment, our limit of 2, we need to work out what u is when x is 2. Well, it's 4 plus 3 lots of 2 squared, or 2 squared is 4, that's 12, plus 4 is 16. So the limit of 2 goes to 16, and the limit of 0 for x means that this whole expression is 0, so the limits are going to change from 4 to 16 rather than 0 to 2. So we can rewrite our integration, instead of from 0 to 2, we can write it from 4 to 16, because we're moving from x to u. We've got 2x, we really want to get rid of that 2x, but let's just leave it there for the moment, and we've got 4 plus 3x squared on the bottom, all squared, so that's u squared, and then replace the dx with du over 6x, and conveniently, this has now disappeared, this x and this x are the cancel. If they didn't, we might have had to rearrange this expression to get x equals and substitute that x equals in. But we didn't, luckily for us. So really, we're running from 4 to 16. And we're going to get 1 over, or the 2, so it's going to be 1 over 3u squared du. So that seems like a whole lot more simple than this one up here. So, I'm actually going to rewrite that in a slightly different way. I'm going to take the third out of the integration because it's a constant. And I'm going to have 4 to 16. And I'm going to bring the u to power of u to the top. Makes my life easier. u to the minus 2 with respect to u. So, I've just brought the u up, so it makes it u to the minus 2. Limits are the same, and I've taken a third out to the front. So that means that this integration is really this. One third of... Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, so it's going to be minus u to the minus 1. Limits run from 4 to 16, and if I really wanted to write that out differently, inside my square brackets I'm going to have minus 1 over u running from 4 to 16. So then I can just work out what this is, so let's come back over here. So it's one third of One third of well, let's put sixteen in. Is minus one sixteenth, and then it's going to be minus, and then you're going to put four in, which is minus one over four. Actually, it becomes plus one over four. Get that out. Well, you can do that on your calculator. You can work out what happens, but it actually, just comes out to one sixteenth. Because uh, this inside becomes 3 sixteenths, one third of that is 1 sixteenth. Six marks for that. Um, all we had to do was just make sure that we used our, our substitution correctly to get uh, rid of dx. But we also had to make sure that we changed our limits. That's a very important point that people forget to do that. Change the limits and then we can do the integration in u. Okay? If we didn't, if we just changed it and then um, changed our values back to x 
here, so we substitute, we substituted u in 4 plus 3x squared, then we could have changed our limits back. But there doesn't seem much point doing that. If we're working out, we might as well just work with new limits and work with our u instead of our x. Okay. Hope that was okay.